These are the first animals to be born at Allerdale, and the first that will be brought up in the wild. Now that the boar seem well established, it's time for Hugh to organise the next stage of the project. We're definitely going ahead with an import of elk on September the 15th. Uh, just going to bring a bull and, and two young females. So that's pretty exciting. The rewilding will happen here, no doubt about that. It's just the timing of us establishing this big reserve because the complexities of doing it are probably escape Paul a little. Paul has overlooked a fundamental issue. In the eyes of the law, a fence around his reserve would change the nature of the Allerdale project. We in Scottish Natural Heritage are remitted and interested in wildlife when it's in the wild. When you put a big fence around an area, technically and legally, it's not then in the wild. And I think the uh, development here at Allerdale would need then to be covered by the zoo legislation. As I understand it, there would be issues about animal welfare, the survival and well-being of individual animals as part of what happens inside this enclosed area. Allerdale is huge, but if it's classed as a zoo, it would then be illegal to put a predator and its prey in the same enclosed space. And this would completely undermine Paul's grand plan. If the highlands are to be properly restored, he thinks it's vital for all the animals to live together. It's the wolves that will keep the red deer away from the valley bottoms where the rivers are, where we need, we need vegetation on the riverbanks. We don't have that anymore up here. You know, it's important spawning grounds for the salmon. It's, you know, for the whole cycle of life, uh, it's very important to have as many of the creatures back that were once here. Although this is encouraged by EU legislation, national laws are threatening to stop his ambitious rewilding scheme in its tracks. There's a clash of legislation here. Article 22 of the UEC Habitats Directive encourages people to go through species and habitat restoration. And that means that you have an ambition to get wolves and bear and lynx back into Scotland. And the Zoo Act basically prevents that happening by saying that you cannot have predator and prey in the same enclosure, which basically flies in the face of his whole proposal. We have managed to surround ourselves in so much red tape with regard to things that you can and cannot do. We're not a zoo, we're not a long leap, we're not a private collection of animals. What are we? Well, we are a wilderness reserve. We are like a nature reserve with a fence around it. So there isn't a box for us.